This is a game called NIM. It's a fun game. It's got some interesting maths involved. It's pretty easy to play. The rules are pretty simple. So it's a two player game and you start with a collection of 17 objects. I'm using counters. You can use coins, acorns, rocks, whatever you like. It's a two player game. Each player takes, takes it in turns to remove uh, either one, two or three items from the collection. And the aim of the game is to not be the person that has to remove the last item from the collection. So for example, player one might take out one, player two could take out two, player one could take three, player two could take two again, player one would take two, player two takes three, then player one can take three, and that means that player two is stuck with the last counter. So it's a really fun game to play. I recommend you give it a go. Find 17 things, find a friend, and have a few games with Nim and see if you can work out any strategies. So the question with Nim is, is there a winning strategy? Is there a way to play where I will always win the game? And another question to ask is, is it better to go first or to go second when you're playing Nim? So to find out if it's better to go first or second, what we can do is we can solve a simple problem. So if I remove all of the counters except for five, and I have a collection of five, I play the game again with the same rules, you can see that it's uh, a strategy will begin to emerge. So player one, if player one removes one counter, player two can remove three, and then player one is stuck with one counter. If player one takes away two, player two takes two, player one loses again. If player one takes away three, player two takes away one, and no matter what player one does, he's always stuck with that counter. So we've tested every possible combination of a collection of five. And we've seen that if player two has good strategy, then they can always win the game. So what is the winning strategy if you've got 17 in your collection? Well, we know we wanna go second, so let's say player one takes one counter. Player two needs to take three. And if player one takes, let's say they take two, player two needs to match that with two. And if player, th player one takes three, then player two needs to take one. And as you can see, a pattern begins to emerge and we can see that what we're actually doing is matching up groups of four. So whatever player one does, player two ne needs to only match it up so that it adds up to a total of four. So if player one, takes one, player two takes three, player one loses the game. So that's NIM, it's a fast game, it's fun, the rules are simple but there's a little bit of a trick to it as well, you can impress your friends um, and it works with uh, any quantity of numbers where you've got a multiple of four plus one. So we could take for example 21, um, which is multiple of four plus one, or a number like 25, 41, 401, whatever you like. And that is the game of NIM.